You guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Chrissy G. And if you are back, then welcome back to my channel. Hug, kisses. I absolutely love having you guys back on my channel. Today is not a pre-planned video vlog at all. It was a spur of the moment because I have something to show you guys. I have something that you that I would like for you to see because it was a complete breath of fresh air for me today. It was what I needed to get my spark back, to get my motivation back. Um, I am fixing to put a picture in here for you guys to see. This picture that I'm fixing to post was taken on my birthday, which was May 30, May 30, March 31st, which was just over five months ago. Um, I was weighing 241 there. Um, I had just planned to get myself on the ball and get on this weight loss journey that I'm on. Um, and then my coworker just happened to bring it to my attention the other day. She's like, Oh my God, you will not believe I was flipping through my memories and look what popped up. And she shows me this picture and I'm like, Oh my God, what is that? Like, you guys, it's just unbelievable what I look like in that picture. I can't believe, I mean, I know, I know because I see the differences, but you know when you see yourself every day, you start to get used to it and comfortable where you are. Now, I am wearing the same exact outfit, okay, that I was wearing on my birthday. People ask me all the time, like, hey, can you start donating your clothes, whatever doesn't fit you. I buy my clothes so stretched, you guys, that it literally grows with me and shrinks with me. And so, like, this top, I love this top. And I've got this in a dress. I've got it in a crop top. Like, I love this design so much that I bought it, like, in every shape, form possible. Um, and you see how it has, it gives a lot. It gives, it gives. So, Again, it shrinks when I start to shrink and it stretches when I start to stretch. Now, my belt, you already know that situation. I've talked about it before. I had to create new holes. So I have to tippy toe you guys, I'm so short. Um, new holes and for those of you always wondering, I am 5'2", 5 5'2", 2, 5 2, currently at 198 pounds, 199, I fluctuate. Um, so you see the belt, you see how many inches that I've lost. I could fit a baby in there. Um, and so this is from the front, you know, cause obviously you lose it all the way around. It's not just in one area, but you guys can see that this is where I used to wear my belt. I mean, that's crazy. Jeans, same thing. Like if I wasn't wearing a belt right now, I would not be able to be wearing these pants. I wore them for the purpose of the, um, photo op that we had today. Now, when I show you this picture, you guys, it was not at all retouched, not anything. She literally sent it to me from her personal phone. She must have snapped the picture because we had lunch that day at the office. We had wings and I remember saying I wasn't going to have any fries if they could just order celery and carrots and the traditional wings because remember, I started my journey on keto and you can have traditional bone-in wings on keto. So anyways, long story short, she sent me the picture today. We tried to pose like I literally was posed like this in the picture. Um, I was hugging somebody, so I was literally, oh no, it was something like this in the picture. And so we recreated the same pose in the same spot, everything, so that we could have like a really good side by side. So I'm fixing to put that in here for you guys. So let me adjust this a little bit because I am going to put the picture here. Now you guys, can we have, for a second, let's have a moment of silence for the girl right here. You see this girl? This was a sad insecure girl like i was still confident in my own right because obviously i've been on a weight loss journey for many years now and i still felt good about my body i have not been um i get comments sometimes that people are like you know you haven't been open about your surgeries or whatever i have been from the very beginning if you watch the first video that i put on my youtube channel i talk about how i've had several surgeries so yes i've had a tummy tuck or whatnot but having a tummy tuck having surgeries having gastric sleeve having i didn't have gastric sleeve i've had a tummy tuck i lost the weight on my own but what i'm getting at is even though you have these surgeries even though you get lipos bbls tummy tucks you know you will put the weight back on okay your body won't necessarily grow obviously my body was very different prior to the tummy tuck your, but your body expands, okay? If you start to gain the weight back, your body will start to change. And so, that being said, you guys, this, I mean, look at her face. Look at, I look, you can barely see my eyes. Like, where are my eyes? I guess my cheeks were so chubby that, like, when I smiled, you, like, couldn't see my eyes anymore. Um, the other big noticeable thing was my shoulders. You guys see my shoulders in this picture? Like... 
it's incredible that I looked like a little football player. Like, and you know, everybody looks at the picture and they're like, but you still looked cute. You still looked cute. And yes, I get that. But, but I just was not comfortable with myself anymore. I knew I had gained the weight. I have invested so much money in the plastic surgery that I had gotten. And then just to see myself like this was very sad to me. Um, so I'm so glad that I, you know, got myself on the ball and put myself back on track and lost the weight that I did. Now, what I want to show you guys is what a difference 40, 42 pounds will make. I mean, I went to the grocery store the other day and I saw a pack of meat that I bought uh, to stew or whatnot. And it was a seven pound pack. The thing looked like a, a baby. I mean, yes, babies weigh six to eight pounds when they're born. So it makes sense that yes, it looked like a small baby. And I was thinking like, oh my God, that's that's what seven pounds looks like. Go to the go to the butcher section in your grocery store next time and pick up a five pound of beef or ground beef or roll whatever, and think about how you've lost two or three times that, or four times that, or five times that. I mean, can you imagine the amount of weight? I mean, seven pounds looked like seven pounds, and just to think, like I've lost five times, six times that, 42 pounds, six times that amount, like from where? Like I told my husband that day, like, and then when my, my coworker showed me this picture, I was like, I know where most of that beef came from. Let me just say, like, I'm a little sad that I look a little boxy again. You know, I'm, my curves are really shrinking, but like a lot of that beef came from, you know, it, my arms, huge difference, my, I mean, my buckle, it looks so, look at the buckle in the picture where I was 42 pounds heavier and look at the buckle in the picture today. The thing looks like it grew in size, but it's just because I guess my body got smaller, so the buckle just appeared to be bigger. What is that on the mirrors? Objects appear closer than they are, objects are closer than they appear. Like, and this is exactly why I wanted to make sure that I stood in the same area, that she was just about the same distance from me when she took the picture because I really wanted a good comparison. And it just completely blew my mind, you guys. And for me, this is what I needed to like get back on it, you know, because you start to kind of get comfortable where you are. I'm not being as strict as I was in the beginning. I'm starting, I had candy this weekend. I had a, my husband bought a, a king size pack of Reese's peanut butter cup and I had one. The pack, I mean, any other day I would have had both of them and that's probably why I'm in the situation that I was in. But I was like, no, I'm only going to have one. But still, I was being really good about not breaking my diet with, you know, candy bars like that anymore. Um, if I had a sweet tooth, I would go to my Choc Zero or I would have a few pieces of like, a few pieces of chocolate here and there. Um, but this was like a significant amount. It was 200 calories for the one cup because it's a big Reese's cup. Um, and so I, you know, you start to get more relaxed, but seeing the difference that just 40 pounds made is like incredible to me. I don't have a lot of my own pictures because you know, once you start to gain weight or when you're not comfortable with your body, you kind of shy away from taking pictures or whatnot. And so I would take 30, 40, 50 pictures just to end up with one or two that I like. And those are the ones that I would post. But in this case, she took a candid photo of me. I guess I leaned in, you know, to my other coworker to kind of hug for the picture. And she snapped it and went about her business never to see that picture again till now. So that, that is why I put on the same exact outfit and everything because I wanted to have a really good comparison. So this was just, you know, you guys, please like this video. If you found it at all inspirational, motivational, if you enjoyed listening to me rant about how excited I was seeing this picture 42 pounds later, um, please, 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 you guys, like and subscribe. I really appreciate your support. For those of you who keep coming back for more, words cannot explain how grateful I am for you. Thank you so much, you guys. Didn't mean to take up so much of your time. I just couldn't, I couldn't resist the emotion to want to share this with you guys and to give you that bump that I know some of us sometimes need when we're feeling down about it or when we're feeling frustrated. So thank you guys so much for watching. Talk soon.